Smithy Industries. Hey, hey here. Welcome to the Smithy Workshop. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the feed here on the wheel and drill press. Now, to start out, you've got two ways of feeding. You've got a feed here just on the drill press, but then if you push this in, we have to wiggle it a little bit. Push it in and wiggle. And see how that went in? Box. Now, you can't move it here, but you can come around here and feed. This is for your wheel. This is your fine feed. To get it out of fine feed, grab this, again, wiggle it, and pull out. And now you've got your drill press on. Now, a lot of times, people want a little more tension on this handle. Uh, if your quill is retracting all the way, uh, you might want to adjust it a little bit. On a new machine, use it for a little bit first, because new ones are always a little tighter. But if it does need a little more tension, it will bring it up a lot easier. We're going to slide this around here, and this is our tension right here. Take that cap off. Now you can see the spring under here. <clears throat> now if you watch the center shaft, when I turn it, the shaft turns counterclockwise. So if you increase tension on the spring, I'm going to need to turn this whole mechanism clockwise. There's a little nut right under here. Let's loosen this nut. Okay, that's just a little lock nut. And there is then a set screw right here. Now don't loosen this right away, okay? Put your channel locks on here, get a good grip. Loosen this up a little at a time so you can move it now. So, Turn it until you can move it to the next indent. If you start to lose it, just put this in here and cut it back down real quick. My channel locks are a little bit small. They are. I should actually have them here a little larger, but I think we can get by here. Loosen it up. I'm going to turn it around. There we go. See how it moves? Lock it a little bit. Turn it some more. And look for that next detent. Ooh, not quite there. Last turn. There it is. Okay, see how it's going in? Okay, I moved it. One detent. Those detents are all around the outside of this piece. Put the set screw tighten back down a little bit and try it. You know, we've got more tension on that so the retract easier. So make sure that set screw is good and tight. If you need more tension, go to another detent down there. If that tension is fine, tighten the set screw, tighten the lock nut, and put the cover on. If you ever lose tension completely, you just turn it a little bit at a time. One detent to the next until you get the detention that you like. And the cap just slides back on just like that. That's how you adjust the tension and get that middle feed working nice and smooth. Hope this has been informative to you and we'll see you next time. This is Dave saying so long for now.